welcome to arvind singh academy i hope you are doing well and hum log ek test series discuss kar rahe hain and we are discussing this test series for uh, itj aspirants this is a test series today which we are going to discuss today that is for je main and uh, hopefully those students who has uh, written this test they will be able to get benefit and uh, they will be able to understand and analyze their mistakes as well so without wasting time let me discuss this paper and this is a series so you will get every week there will be one test and the discussion of that test will be on this we are discussing mathematics part today and the physics part will be discussed by another teacher and chemistry correspondingly so all you will be get uh, by this uh, website and uh, let me discuss the mathematics part today so the, this is a test series you may download uh, this uh, complete test series on our website www.arvindsingh.com or uh, you may download from here as well this is a link has been given already and uh, you may contact by uh, this facebook you may follow on this facebook page arvind singh academy you may also contact with us uh, with this uh, google plus id is there we have solved this question paper very carefully and keeping all these things uh, in mind that uh, best of our knowledge we have prepared and there is no chance of any mistake although there is no chance of any mistake such mistake in uh, solutions but still if anybody can differ with the any opinion or solutions given by us they may contact us with this and uh, there will be no legal application on it so please try to understand and learn the solutions what we are doing here okay all the best so let us start the solutions questions this is a question paper and this is the series this is a paper number code this and uh, hopefully <coughs> you got this this is a three hour duration so total marks 360 one man 20 marks for physics mathematics and chemistry so <coughs> for each correct response there will be four marks and for each incorrect <coughs> there will be negative one so this is the marking pattern as per j main examination and you can follow this by using this we will discuss this uh, so evaluate yourself about uh, the answers response given by you now uh, as we had discussed we are going to discuss this mathematics part so let me start from the mathematics only the first question which is given here um, that is a question uh, from this uh, trigonometry and in this section we had taken trigonometry only this is the part wise paper so we had taken trigonometric completely here this is tan solution can be written like this tan a plus minus b is equal to 1 that is tan pi by 4 can be written as and therefore tan theta is equal to tan alpha so theta is equal to n pi plus alpha that is pi by 4 also sec a plus b is equal to this is what given 2 by root 3 so correspondingly we can write a plus b is equal to root 3 by 2 and root 3 by 2 is the value of cos so cos a plus b is equal to what cos uh, a plus b is equal to cos pi by 6 cos pi by 6 and cos theta is equal to cos alpha everybody know this theta is equal to right 2n pi plus minus pi by 6 pi by 6 right plus minus alpha so solving this 1 and 2 you will be able to get it if you solve this 1 and 2 we will get here the value will be solving this 2 on solving you keep uh, take it value a plus b is equal to 2n pi plus minus pi by 6 so i can take it as 2 pi minus pi by 6 2 and pi the first value list value we have to cal calculate so 2 pi 
plus minus pi by 6 and another is a minus b that can be n pi that is pi plus pi by 4. So a smallest value can be taken right pi plus pi by 4. On solving this if you subtract these two minus plus minus then they will be cancels and 2b is equal to what will happen 2 pi plus minus pi by 4 and minus pi by 6 minus pi by 4 right so 2 pi minus pi that will come pi plus minus this so that can be n can be integer n is integer so we may take the value like uh, 0 or anything else let me write this so you may take 2 pi plus minus pi by 6 and n pi plus pi by 4 solving all these two you will be able to get it 2b is equal to 7 pi by 7 pi by 12 11 pi by 12 13 pi by 12 like this so b is equal to what will be that 7 pi by 24 and 11 pi by 24 and 13 pi by 24 but uh, out of the given choice the 11 pi by 24 is the least value and therefore we can take it this one will be the answer so i hope you got it and you understand it well that how this can be solved by using this fact that uh, for first question answer would be d okay now the next question is here the next question is this is a very very important question so earlier it has been asked with in iit and uh, now we are going to solve this although anybody can learn it by a shortcut idea because it is a very difficult one for solving objective type if you remember this question then you can answer question, this question otherwise uh, it will be difficult if i put a is equal to 90 degree then what will happen the left hand side in question it will be 1 by a plus 0 is equal to 1 by a plus b so by comparing this this is true if and only if b is equal to 0 putting in question the same thing you will be able to put here again the same value if i put here this is 90 degree then again age 90 then this will be 1 a q and this will be 0 plus 0 a q plus 0 and uh, that will be what 1 by a q right now 1 by a q and in option if i put here this a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 then what will happen a will satisfy so that will buy your answer is a answer is a answer is a but uh, moreover if you want to go with the detailed solutions of it you will be able to analyze this that what to do you may write this uh, solution by using this solution concept wise concept conceptual solution i can write this uh, sine 4a it means b sine 4a b into a plus b i can write here b into a plus b sine 4a plus a into a plus b sine 4b sorry cos 4b you can write it cos 4b is equal to a b multiply this else will be like this now we can write this b a b sine 4 a plus cos 4 a and plus a square cos 4 a and plus b a square sine 4 a is equal to a b right so that can be written here i hope you got it now this is just put to right moreover i can write here this is a sine square whole square cos square whole square or a square plus b square can be written as a square plus b square whole square right minus 2ab so sine square a plus cos square a would be 1 i can can i write it directly let me write this and then minus 2 sine square a cos square a can i write like this yes 
and now this is a square cos square cos 4 a can be written as 1 minus sin square a whole square can I write like this plus b square sin 4 a is equal to a b right now that can be a b into 1 minus 2 sin square a cos square a plus a square 1 plus sin 4a sin 4a minus 2 sin square a plus b square sin 4a is equal to ab if you multiply this here ab into 1 ab minus plus ab plus sin 4a coefficient of sin 4a would be a square from here and plus b square there a square plus b square sin 4a and one sin 4a can come from here also let me write first this solve this simplify then and then i can write here this is this can be a b minus 2 a b sin square a this cos square a can be written as 1 minus sin square a, right and now this is a square plus a square sin 4a plus minus 2a square sin square a plus b square sin 4a is equal to ab right so this ab and this ab can cancel out now the same thing will come like here that will come a square from here try to understand a square from here b square from here and 2ab minus sin square a minus minus plus so here sin square a this sin square a multiply by this sin square a will be sin 4a and coefficient will be minus minus plus 2ab so coefficient of sin 4a will come from here a square plus 2ab plus b square sin 4a right plus here a minus 2ab sin square a and here also minus 2a square sin square a so that will come up here it will be minus 2a ab sin square a minus 2ab sin square a and minus 2a square sin square a so if i take 2a common then what will happen 2a sin square a common then it will be a plus b so 2a a plus b sin square a right sin square a and plus <coughs> sin square a and plus this a square is equal to 0 can i write this a plus b whole square yes so i can write this a plus b whole square so you understand this that this is a plus b sin square a whole square a square minus 2ab plus b square so easily one can write this a plus b into sin square a minus a whole square is equal to 0 and therefore sin square a will come up like a upon a plus b whole square a plus b sin square is a square a plus b and therefore sin to the power 8a can be written as a to the power 4 upon a plus b ka power 4 and if i put the value of sin square a anywhere because sin square a is 1 minus cos square a so correspondingly one can write here 1 minus cos square a cos square a is equal to 1 minus sin square a and that will come 1 minus a upon a plus b so that will come b upon a plus b so cos 8a will also come up here b4 b4 upon a plus b4 because making power for both the sides and therefore one can write it like <coughs> sine to the power 8a sine to the power 8a finally i can write here sine to the power 8a upon aq plus cos to the power 8a upon bq 
will be equal to because BQ will divide here. So cos to the power 8a upon BQ is equal to here it will come b upon a plus b to the power 4. And similarly here what will happen? Uh, sin to the power 8a upon aq is equal to a upon a plus b to the power 4. Adding these two you will be able to get it a upon a plus b to the power 4 plus b upon a plus b to the power 4 and that will come up a plus b upon a plus b to the power 4. So one of them will cancel out on a plus b to the power whole q. This is the answer of this question. So I hope you got it. This is a big question and that is basically asked earlier in IIT J. But uh, still <coughs> this question can be solved in many, uh, many competitive examinations. These questions come in one another way. So you will be able to understand it. By shortcut we can also deal with this question but by concept you should also know this. So I hope you got it. <coughs> Next question here is a solution of this question. Let me write here. This is a sign say this is x if I say or assume this like theta say this is a theta then sin theta and cos theta. What is the maximum value of sin theta and cos theta? Sin theta plus cos theta is lies between under root minus 2 to plus 2 plus under root 2. So sin theta and cos theta lies between sin I can write here this is like sin this will be lies in minus n by root 2 sin pi by 2 to the power n plus cos pi by 2 to the power n this is sin theta plus cos theta is lies between minus root 2 to root 2 right so here i can write this is root n by 2 is less than root 2 so root n is less than 2 root 2 and therefore n is less than 8 n is less than equal to 8 this is one of the solution also we can write here that uh, sin pi by 2n and 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 cos pi by 2n will multiply by root 2 root 2 multiply by these things it can be as a root 2 sin pi by 4 plus 1 pi by 2 to the power n can i write this this is pi by 4 plus something and this expression is equal to how much? This is the basically expression which is given. So that is root n by 2 is equal to root 2 sin pi by 4 plus pi by 2 to the power n. This angle is something positive. This angle is something positive. Pi by 4, if it was sin by pi by 4, then their value will be 1 by root 2. So root 2 into 1 by root 2. But because plus something, angle is something bigger, so it will be definitely more than 1 by root 2. So we can write here that root under n by 2 must be greater than, greater than this value would be greater than this is greater than I can write here. Let me write this like this. This can be written as since root 2 sin pi by 4 plus pi by 2 to the power n must be greater than root 2 into 1 by root 2. Right? So that is uh, 1 and therefore this is what? This is nothing else but root 2 by n which is greater than 1 and therefore root n is greater than 2 and therefore n must be greater than 4. So n is greater than 4 and n is less than equal to 8 and therefore better answer will be b. Out of the given choice answer will be b. Now the next question let me discuss I hope you are getting this well. Now this is another question and that question is basically uh, asked from this uh, value based question and this value based question can be solved by using this that uh, 
7 pi by 18 k is equal to this 7 pi by 18 and 5 pi by 18 and this all are this can be converted into cos so easily it can be converted into cos and we can write here k is equal to since k is equal to k is equal to this should write here cos pi by 2 minus pi by 18 can i write like this cos pi by 2 minus pi pi by 18 and cos pi by 2 minus 7 pi by 18 so what is left that k will come up here that this is 9 pi minus pi 8 pi by 18 that is cos 4 pi by 9 here this will be 9 pi minus pi pi that is 4 pi by 18 that is 2 pi by 9 and here it will be 9 pi minus 7 pi 2 pi by 18 that is cos pi by 9 so now this can be written as <coughs> k is equal to you know in the formula this is uh, cos pi by 9 cos 2 pi by 9 cos 4 pi by 9 right and that is uh, using the formula what we can write here that we can write here cos uh, 1 by 2 to the power 3 sin pi by 9 and that will be sin double of this 8 pi by 9 the so sin 8 pi by 9 would be what pi minus pi by 9 right pi minus pi by 9 that is 1 by 8 sin pi minus pi by 9 right divided by sin pi by 9 and that will come up sin pi by 9 1 by 8 sin pi by 9 upon sin pi by 9 and this two cancels out so what will be answer 8 what the formula i have used here the formula i have used here you must remember recall this formula and uh, hopefully uh, you got this you must understand this that there is a formula and what is that formula that cos theta cos 2 theta cos 4 theta like this up to cos to the power 2 to the power n minus 1 theta and that is equal to 1 by 2 to the power n sin theta sin 2 to the power 2 to the power n theta so using this same fact you got this sin this is sin theta and 2 to the power n theta so double of this double of the last one sin so here 4 pi by this is 4 pi so 4 pi by 9 can be 8 pi by 9 double of this so that can be written further pi minus pi by 9 and divided by sin pi by 9 so it will be like this and definitely you will get it. now the next one next question is let me write the next one and this is another question that uh, sin x is equal to solution of this question let me write sin x is equal to 1 minus sin square x that would be cos square x so therefore this expression can be the given expression can be written as expression cos to the power 12x plus 3 cos to the power what is that 10x plus 3 cos to the power 8x plus cos to the power 6x minus 1 can be written as sin to the power 6x plus 3 sine to the power 5x plus 3 sine to the power 4x plus sine to the power cubex minus 1 that is further can be written as sine square x plus sine x whole cube minus 1 and you know sine square x plus sine x is equal to 1 so 1 q minus 1 that is 0 so that will be answer is 0 so answer is 0 i hope you got it now the next question is this is quite simple one you know it is given this and you understand this this is a q plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b q so we can write it easily and now answer is 0 so answer is a answer is a now the next question is here this is also a good question and simple to understand you know sec square a minus tan square a i can write sec square a minus tan square a and that can be written as sec square b minus tan square b and that can be written as sec square c minus tan square c is equal to 1 into 1 into 1 that is 1 because sec square 
that further can be written as sec a plus tan a and sec a minus tan sec b plus tan b from here and sec c minus tan c from here tan c this is c sorry this is tan square c so further it can be sec square c and that is equal to and again the negative of that will come so sec a plus tan a plus is already there so we can write here minus let me write this as small because it need more or less many space so i can write sec a minus tan a sec b minus tan b sec c minus tan c right and their plus will be also sec a plus tan a sec b plus tan b and sec c plus tan c sec c plus tan c is equal to 1 both of this expression this expression and this expression are equal say this is each one of them is k so i can write for this expression i can write k and for this expression also i can write k can i write like this so k into k k square is equal to 1 and therefore k is equal to 1 so answer will be 1 i hope you got it now the next question is here sin square a is equal to sin to the power 8 theta plus cos to the power 14 theta both are positive since sin square theta is lies between 0 to 1 so sin to the power 8 theta also lies between 0 to 1 and cos to the power 14 similarly similarly one can write cos to the power 14 theta is also lies between 0 to 1 so clearly uh, they must be greater than 0 they must be greater than 0 right and here what will be the total value so a can be sine to the power this and sine to the power this and therefore sine to the power 8 theta plus cos to the power 14 theta is lies between 0 to 1 more than 0 definitely it will be more than 0 both cannot be 0 together both cannot be equal to 1 right so can it be both equal to 1 yes it can be equal to 1 how is that because if i take theta is equal to 90 degree then in that case this will be 1 and this will be 0 in case theta is equal to 0 can it be 0 somehow no it never be equal to 0 so the value which lies between more than 0 and less than 1 so a is greater than 0 and less than 1 so option is b b will be the right answer i hope you got got it answer is b now the next question is here try to understand this is another question and this is a very good question in fact uh, it has been asked earlier also uh, in different competitive examination i can't deny with this fact here beta plus gamma is equal to alpha alpha plus beta is equal to pi by 2 so beta can be written as pi by 2 minus alpha and therefore i can write tan beta is equal to tan pi by 2 minus alpha that is cot alpha can i write like this yes now this is given here that alpha is equal to beta plus gamma so can i apply this rule tan alpha is equal to tan beta plus tan gamma upon 1 minus tan beta tan gamma right so using this fact i can use it for tan beta and this is tan alpha into tan beta is equal to 1 so here i can use this tan beta and this cot alpha can be written as tan alpha is equal to 1 so if i multiply the whole thing this side that will come tan alpha minus tan alpha tan beta tan gamma is equal to tan beta plus tan gamma so because tan alpha tan beta is 1 so that will be tan alpha minus tan gamma only is equal to tan beta plus tan gamma 
and therefore tan alpha is equal to nothing else tan beta plus this tan gamma will come this side it will be positive so 2 tan gamma so 2 tan gamma tan beta and therefore c will be the right answer so answer is c i hope you got it okay now the next question is here this is from trigonometric uh, equation somehow this is uh, given that theta lies between 0 to pi by 2 and 2 sin square theta splitting middle term you know that can be written here so what is that uh, 2 sin square theta can be written as 4 sin theta minus sin theta minus 2 is greater than 0 so we can write here 2 sin theta minus 1 and sin theta minus 2 is greater than 0 so i can write here 2 sin theta minus 1 and 2 minus sin theta is greater than less than 0 because i have changed here the sign minus sign is taken and multiplied here and therefore the sign is changed multiply by negative sign sign will change 2 minus sin theta is always positive right this is always positive it cannot be negative under any circumstances because sin theta can have maximum value between minus 1 to 1 so this will be must be less than 0 so i can write here 2 sin theta minus 1 is less than 0 that is sin theta is less than half sin theta is less than half if i go for this sin theta is half at this point half here at sin 30 sin 30 is half that is pi by 6 you know so i can write here sin pi by 6 here it will be half and value of sin is going to increase and from here till here sin pi minus pi by 6 that is 5 pi by 6 here also the value will be half in this region they are going to increase the value of sin is more here more than half this is more than half here in this region they are going to increase and increase up to 1 at this point 1 and then decreasing but we want value is less than half so our answer will be in this region only you know this region and this region will include that they are either lies between if i start from 0 then 0 to pi by 6 or 5 pi by 6 to 2 pi so 0 to 5 pi by 6 and pi by 6 so the a will be the best answer and therefore theta must lie between 0 to pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6 to 2 pi and therefore answer is a so getting this now here next question is 2 tan theta sin theta plus tan theta then general value of theta is equal to solution let me write this solution 2 sin theta and tan theta can be written as also sin theta by cos theta so i can write here taking sin theta as a common we will get it sin theta as common this will be 2 plus 1 by cos theta is equal to 0 so either sin 2 sin theta is equal to 0 so sin theta is equal to 0 it means theta is equal to n pi and theta is equal to n pi and cos 2 plus cos 1 by cos theta is equal to 0 that means 1 by cos theta is equal to minus 2 and therefore i can write here cos theta is equal to 1 by 2 cos theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 that is cos theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 will lie in third quadrant so pi plus pi by 3 that is cos 4 pi by 3 right can it be like this yes cos theta is equal to minus 2 and cos theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 so cos theta lies in second quadrant and second quadrant as well so second quadrant pi minus pi by 3 is cos 2 pi by 3 and therefore theta is equal to cos theta is equal to cos alpha theta is equal to 2n pi plus minus 2 pi by 3 so one of the solution is here and the other solution is there one solution is here other solution is there and the combination of these two solutions is given in b so answer would be b i hope you got it now the next question would be 
here this is given root 3 tan 2 theta then 3 theta and this so can i write like this solution would be like this if i took this common root 3 into tan 2 theta plus tan 3 theta is equal to 1 minus tan 2 theta tan 3 theta so that can be written as tan 2 theta plus tan 3 theta upon 1 minus tan 2 theta tan 3 theta can i write like this is equal to this root 3 will come like this and this will be like this now clearly this is tan 5 theta so tan 5 theta is equal to tan 5 by 6 isn't it so tan theta is equal to tan th alpha theta is equal to n 5 plus alpha so theta is equal to n plus 1 by 6 into pi and this pi will come this side and it will divide so n plus 1 by 6 1 by root 3 pi by 6 n plus 1 by 6 into pi by 5 that is what will come n plus 1 by 6 into pi by 5 this is pi by 3 tan 2 theta tan 2 alpha pi by 6 so that will be the answer basically so that will be mistaken here because both the answers are same here by misprint uh, the in original file it was like this so answer is pi by 5 answer it be right and that will be here next question will be here it is given that cos theta solution of this question is cos theta plus sec theta is equal to 5 by 2 then the general value of theta would be cos theta plus sec theta sec theta is equal to 5 by 2 and that can be written as cos theta plus 1 by cos theta is equal to 2 plus 1 by 2 can i write like this so comparing the same thing cos theta cannot be equal to 2 so cos theta must be equal to 1 by 2 and therefore cos theta can be written as cos pi by 3 and cos theta is equal to cos alpha and theta is equal to 2 and pi plus minus alpha and therefore answer would be um, d that will be the answer now i hope next question let us see the next one here this is another question and uh, i hope you got it in this tan square theta and this tan theta root 3 so can i write uh, like this this is a quadratic equation tan theta tan square theta minus 1 can I write like this minus root 3 tan theta plus root 3 is equal to 0 so that can be tan theta minus 1 and tan theta plus 1 and that is root 3 if I would take then tan theta minus 1 would be 0 so I can take tan theta minus 1 and tan theta plus 1 minus root 3 is equal to 0 so there would be two such situations one is tan theta minus 1 is equal to 0 then tan theta is equal to 1 and then theta is equal to n pi plus n pi plus pi by 4 n pi plus pi by 4 this is the one solution right the next situation would be what is that uh, next situation would be tan theta is equal to root 3 minus 1 if i put this then root 3 minus 1 is what we have you any idea which is root 3 minus 1 tan theta a um that will be also here tan theta so it will be uh, wrong somehow so let me sorry i'm sorry for that we can factorize this like using this tan theta would be root 3 so this factor will come like sorry this is a tan square theta solution is let me write this minus tan theta because i have written here one only minus root 3 tan theta root 3 tan theta plus root 3 is equal to 0 so if i would take tan theta common then here it will be left tan theta minus 1 and root 3 common then that will be tan theta 
minus 1. Actually, this is given as x square minus sum of root into x plus product of root is equal to 0. So, easily one can analyze this. Why I forget, I don't know. <laughs> and this is uh, so x minus tan theta minus 1 and tan theta is equal to root 3. In this case, tan theta is equal to tan pi by 3, right? And therefore, theta is equal to n pi plus minus, sorry, n pi plus pi by 3. So, there are two answers. So, one is n pi plus pi by 4 and second is n pi plus pi by 3. So, answer will be A. That will be the answer. So, answer will be A. Now, next question. Let me explain this. So, here question number 14 is there and this is a solution. Let me write the solution of this question number 14. Sin theta plus cos theta is equal to root 2 cos alpha then theta is equal to. So can I write a, a squaring both the sides? Let me write this. Uh, a squaring both the sides. On a squaring you will be able to get 1 plus 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to 2 cos square alpha. So, can I write sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta and 2 cos square alpha minus 1 and you know sin 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square alpha minus 1 is cos 2 alpha sin 2 theta is equal to like this. So, I may write here the sin 2 theta is equal to sin pi by 2 minus 2 alpha. Can I write like this? Yes. Now, or cos theta is equal to cos alpha because here n pi plus minus 1 to the power n type nothing is being written. So, it will be better to convert them sin into cos. So, that will be this cos 2 alpha can be written as cos pi by 2 minus 2 theta. Right and cos theta is equal to cos alpha then theta is equal to what will happen? Theta 2 alpha is equal to 2n pi plus minus pi by 2 minus 2 theta. Can I write like this? And now this will be if I divide thoroughly by 2, then it will be it will be or it will be better to write here like this. Sorry. Because we have to calculate theta now. So, it will be better to go ahead with uh, this, yes, we can write here, no problem, 2 alpha is equal to 2n pi plus minus pi by 2 minus 2 theta. If I cancel this theta, then what will happen? This will remain this side and it will be alpha is equal to n pi plus minus pi by 4 minus theta. So, that will alpha will come this side plus minus and theta will come this side. So, therefore, definitely theta will be n pi plus minus pi by 4 minus alpha. So, that will be better n pi plus minus 2 n pi plus pi by 4 plus minus alpha. This will remain same theta will come this side. So, answer will be B. Clearly, answer will be B. Okay. The next question is. So, here let me write this next question and the answer will be solution of this question will be solution of this question will be so here sin 3 alpha is equal to sin 3 alpha is equal to 4 sin alpha that can be written as uh, I mean sin square alpha because sin a plus b into sin a minus b sin square x minus sin square alpha. So it will be um, in fact can I write 3 sin alpha minus 4 sin q alpha and that will be 4 sin q alpha minus uh, 4 this will be also like 4 sin alpha 4 sin alpha sin square x 
minus 4 sin cube alpha. So these two terms cancels out. Now that will be sin alpha and sin alpha also cancel out. 3 sin alpha is equal to 4 sin alpha into sin square x. Alpha is constant so we can divide it. And now sin square x is equal to what? That is 3 by 4. So can I write like this? sin square x is equal to sin root 3 by 2 whole square and everybody knows this sin square x is equal to sin square pi by 3 sin square theta is equal to sin square alpha so theta is equal to plus minus alpha and therefore answer will be b so it will be here i hope you have done it and uh, next question is 16 so in 16 question, I can write here solution again. Solution of this part would be like this. Solution. Sin square theta, sec theta, root 3 tan theta is equal to 0. So can I write like this? Sin square theta upon cos theta, sec theta is equal by cos theta plus root 3 sin theta by cos theta is equal to 0. So it will be better or even this can be written as sin by cos tan we can write also this sin by one sin and one cos make it tan and this will be also tan so it will be better to write in form of tan sin theta into tan theta that will be like this uh, sin theta into tan theta plus root 3 tan theta is equal to 0 so that will be equal to 0. So if I took tan theta common sin theta plus root 3 is equal to 0. That is, is it possible? No. Sin theta cannot be uh, this uh, tan theta either tan theta is equal to 0 or sin theta is equal to. So here definitely tan theta is equal to 0 because sin theta cannot be equal to minus root 3. That is beyond of the capacity of sin theta has maximum value minus 1 to 1. So this cannot be equal to minus root 3. So tan theta since tan theta is equal to 0 and therefore theta is equal to what? N pi for n belonging to integer. So B will be the right answer and therefore answer is B. Now the next question is hopefully you are not getting bored right now. And this is the solution of next question 17. And this question would be cos 3x like this is equal to minus 2. Minus 2 cos 3x and sine this is something like this. So it will be better to write like this 1 plus can I write like this 1 plus cos 3x plus 1 plus sin this sign can be converted as cos pi by 2 plus cos 90 plus theta is sin theta 2x minus 7 pi by 6 uh, cos 90 plus theta is minus sin theta so it will be better to write here minus sign minus sign can i write like this and this will be minus because this minus would be this minus minus become plus so can I write like this minus 2 taken this side 1 plus is here and another plus is here you know 1 plus cos 2 theta is 2 sin square theta so 2 cos square 1 plus cos 2 theta is 2 cos square theta by 2 so that will be 2 cos square 3x by 2 and 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square and this is left basically 1 plus cos 3x and plus 1 minus this would be pi by 2 minus 7 pi by 6 so that will be 1 minus cos 2x minus and that would be 3 pi minus pi by 6 2x minus this will be 3 pi minus 3 pi by 6 minus 7 pi minus 4 pi by 6 that is 2 pi by 3 2 pi by 3 uh, that will be equal to 0 right because nothing left this side is uh, 0 so that can be also written as 2 sin square x x means x minus pi by 3 
that is equal to zero. This is possible if and only if both the terms is equal to zero because this is something perfect square and that is also something perfect square. So they cannot be equal to zero. Uh, the sum of these two will be zero if and only if both are individually equal to zero. So then in that case, sine three x sine x minus pi by three is equal to zero and that will give x minus pi by three is equal to n pi so x is equal to n pi plus pi by 3 and cos 3x by 2 is equal to 0 that will give 3x plus 2 is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 2 to cancel so x can be written as 2n plus 1 into pi by 3 and solving this too so n can be written as it will better to write here uh, using the both the values what we can write if I use the both the value this one and this one as well it will be best fitted one edge pi by 3 can be taken common and 6k plus 1 this would be right because 2n plus 1 that can be 6k plus 1 would be the better so, yes this will be 6k plus 1 will satisfy both the value and therefore answer will be a if you check the value both of them it will satisfy because if you multiply k is any integer so k can be 1 even 0 then pi by 3 will come and pi by 3 will coming from both k is equal to even 2 then 1 then this will be 6 plus 1 7 pi by 3 that can come from here if i took here n is equal to 2, 2 into 3, 6 plus 1, 7, 5 by 3. Similarly, all the values will come from A will satisfy the relationship. Now, next question is, question number 18. So, what is that? Try to understand. The angle of elevation of the top of a hill observed from the top of the bottom of the building of height h. The top of hill observed from top and bottom of a building of height h. If I took here that this is a building, can I write like this? If I took this like Let me right, draw this. Um, so this is a building, and this is a another of, of uh, building of height edge, right? And here the angle of elevation of top and bottom of this building is taken to be let us see this. Okay, and now the next. So this is the top and bottom of the building of height edge. This is the position of building. A and B is a hill and C D is a height. This is H for given. And now the another thing is given that can I write like this? Yes. So this one would be also H. Right? Now the top and bottom the top of a hill this is the top of a hill uh, from the top and bottom of the building of height h is observed to be p from top it is p angle of elevation is p and here from bottom this is q this say x can i write like this let me write this x this distance is x so this will be also x correspondingly 
and this is x so can I write like this x minus h that will be x minus h a right so that will be x minus h So that will be something from here. Okay. So that one is x minus h, right? So if I can write here that tan q is equal to solution. Tan q is equal to what? This is total height is x. X I have written total height of this building. A hill is x. So x upon sorry x is taken here so mm, I can take it like this variable I can take it like something y so y so tan x is equal to tan q is equal to x is the total height of the building right so x upon y because in this triangle this will be x and this will be y so x upon y so y can be written as what is that x cot q now in a small triangle tan p is equal to what is that tan p tan p is equal to x minus h upon y and in place of y we can to take y tan p is equal to x minus h and therefore y is what y is nothing else but uh, x tan cot q so x cot q minus h is equal to y tan p so here i may write y is x cot q x cot q and tan p is equal to x minus h and therefore x is equal to this h will come this side it will be positive and x plus this can be written as x minus h because i have placed here the value of y try to understand this value of y i have placed here so y is x cot q tan p we have to calculate x so h will come this side it will be positive and what will come here x I, if i would take common then x is equal to h upon therefore x is equal to h upon 1 minus cot q tan p and if convert them in terms of y tan p is equal to x minus h by this now if i convert them cot q as 1 by tan q then this is tan q minus tan p and h tan q h tan q if i convert this tan into cot so 1 by cot cot so 1 by cot q p then this will be cot p minus cot q and in numerator it will be also cot p so h cot p h cot p and cot p minus cot q so b will be the right answer that will come further h cot q cot p upon this tan is converted in terms of cot so cot p minus cot q and therefore answer will be b the next question is then thereafter the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from 500 meter from foot is this so we can take it like this again and here angle of elevation is like this so i can take it like this is angle of elevation is 30 degree from the top of elevation of top of a tower this is a tower I can take here this is 30 degree from 500 meter from foot so this is a 500 meter right and this height is say h 
that you have to calculate so tan 30 degree is equal to one can write in simply that uh, tan 30 degree is equal to h upon 500 and that will come further one by root 3 is equal to h upon 500 and therefore h is equal to 500 upon root 3 meter and therefore answer is equal to b so b will be answered in that case answer is b now the next question is try to understand this sin x sin 3x if i uh, write the solution of this question then i can write sin 3x plus sin x is equal to 2 sin 2x cos x plus sin 2 minus 3 sin 2x this is what given here so this is what given i have taken this one so um, this is minus 3 sin 2x 3 sin 2x is equal to again i can take it like this cos c plus cos d 2 cos 2x and cos x minus 3 cos 2x so further it can be written as if i take sin 2x common from this this will be 2 cos x minus 3 and if I take cos 2x common from here, this will be 2 cos x minus 3. Now, these two will cancel out. And sin 2x plus divided by cos 2x is equal to tan 2x is equal to 1. And therefore, 2x is equal to n pi plus pi by 4. And therefore, x is equal to n pi by 2. n pi by 2 plus pi by 8 for n belonging to z. So that will be answered. So no, 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 this will be answered. Sorry, B will be answered. In fact, B will be the right answer. Okay, so now the next question is. Um, this is a question number twenty-one. 5 theta plus uh, 3 theta would be 8 theta and 7 theta plus theta would be 8 theta. So, using the formula, we can write 2 cos um, 7 theta plus theta will be 8 theta by 2 that is 4 theta into cos 3 theta and this will be cos 2 cos 4 theta into cos theta would be equal to 0. If I took 2 cos 4 theta common then cos 3 theta in plus cos theta is equal to 0 and then it will be 2 cos 4 theta into 2 cos 2 theta into cos theta is equal to 0. So that will be cos 4 theta finally cos 4 theta cos 2 theta cos theta is equal to 0. Using all these together cos theta is equal to 0 theta is equal to 2n pi 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 theta and 2 theta is also equal to this so that will be theta is equal to pi by 4 2 will divide this side so value will be either 2n plus 1 into pi by 4 and 2n plus 1 into pi by 8 as well if n is equal to 0 then pi by 2 pi by 4 pi by 8 in pi by 8 will satisfy the value in pi by 8 will satisfy all the values because this is the smallest one so all will come in between and therefore answer will be C, right, answer will be C. So C will be answer of this question and hopefully you will be able to get it. Now the next question is, here question is, tan theta is equal to, let me write this, tan theta is equal to minus 1 by root 3 and sin theta. Tan theta is negative, sin theta is positive and cos theta is negative. So definitely theta must lie in, theta lies in second quadrant. Second quadrant, isn't it? And therefore sin theta, theta must lie between pi minus pi by 6, that is pi pi by 6. And therefore the answer is B. B will be answer. Got it? Now the next question is, here, sec theta minus 4 theta minus sec 2 theta is equal to 2 then what will be the value of theta so solution of this question would be sec 4 theta minus sec 2 theta that can be written as 1 by cos 4 
theta minus 1 by cos 2 theta is equal to 2. So finally this will be cos 2 theta minus cos 4 theta is equal to 2 cos 4 theta cos 2 theta. Right? So this is again can be written as cos 2 theta minus cos 4 theta is equal to and this can be written as 2 cos a cos b cos a minus b a plus b 6 theta minus plus cos 2 theta. So cos 2 theta cos 2 theta cancels and now this will be cos 6 theta plus cos 4 theta is equal to 0 and therefore we can write 2 cos 5 theta into cos theta is equal to 0. So when cos theta is equal to 0 theta is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 and when cos 5 theta is equal to 0 theta would be 2n plus 1 into pi by 10 divided by 5 as well. So there will be two values. Either theta is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 that will be n pi plus pi by 2. If I write this that can be further written as uh, if I multiply this will be n pi plus pi by 2 and this will be n pi by 5 plus pi by 10 and therefore c will be the answer. So c will be the appropriate answer for this question. I hope you got it. Now the next question is sin 4x plus sin 2x. So solution can be written as like this uh, sin 2 sin 3x cos x plus 2 sin 3x. So if I took this 2 sin 3x common then what will left cos x minus 1 is equal to 0. So either sin 3x is equal to 0 that is 3x is equal to n pi and therefore x is equal to n pi by 3. This is the one solution. Another solution will come up from cos x minus 1 is equal to 0. So cos x is equal to what? 1 and x is equal to n pi. 2n pi even. So 2n pi. So n pi by 3 will include all this 2n pi as well. So therefore answer will be n pi. That will be answer. So 24th answer is A. Now the 25th question. And what is that tan cot cot tan? So I can write here tan solution would be like uh, tan cot x is equal to tan pi by 2 minus tan x. So tan theta is equal to tan alpha. Theta is equal to can I write like this cot x is equal to n pi plus pi by 2 minus tan x. Now this tan x will come this side tan x plus cot x is equal to 2n pi 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. Now further I can write here if I convert them in terms of sin and cos then sin x square x plus cos square x upon sin x cos x. Can it be like this is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. So 1 upon if I multiply by 2 numerator and denominator and this is the sin 2x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 and therefore sin 2x is equal to what will come this 2 will come this side and this will multiply 2 to the 4 and in denominator it will be 2n plus 1 into pi so answer will be b i hope you got it the, now the next question is 26 and what is the solution of this 26 so alpha beta satisfying so we can write a cos alpha plus b sin alpha is equal to c and similarly also a cos beta plus b sin beta is equal to c so if i subtract this it will get it a cos alpha minus cos beta plus b sin alpha minus sin beta is equal to what zero right so we can write it further as a a to a sin alpha plus beta sin alpha plus beta 2 sin alpha plus beta by 2 into sin alpha minus beta by 2 minus would be there and here 2b cos alpha plus beta by 2 into sin alpha minus beta by 2 is equal to 0. 
So further this can be written like what I can write. We can write like this negative sign will come this side it will be positive and this will be 2a sin alpha plus beta by 2 cos sin alpha minus beta by 2 sin alpha minus beta by 2 is equal to 2b cos alpha plus beta by 2 into sin alpha minus beta by 2 right so or even we can take here it will be lengthier so it will better to take common from there only so i can take here what i can take here common i can take sin alpha minus beta by 2 there is there there is also and 2 is also common so if i took 2 sin alpha 2 sin alpha minus beta by 2 common then what is left it will be left b cos alpha plus beta by 2 minus a sin alpha plus beta by 2 plus beta by 2 it will be left is equal to 0 this cannot be equal to 0 because alpha and beta are two different roots so alpha is not equal to beta so therefore this cannot be equal to 0 this cannot be equal to 0 and now we rejected this so what will happen there will be b cos alpha plus beta by 2 is equal to a sin alpha plus beta by 2 and sin by cos is equal to tan alpha plus beta by 2 is equal to b by a and therefore answer will be c in that case so the next question is now few questions are left and we got it we know by sign formula solution of this question would be concluded like you know by sign formula by sign formula sign formula what is that a is equal to 2 r sin a b is equal to 2 r sin b can i write like this and c is equal to 2 r sin c so can i write replace this abc so now the cos a upon 2 r sin a cos b upon 2 r sin b and cos c upon 2 r sin c 2 r 2 r 2 r cancel cos a by sin a this employee cot a is equal to cot b is equal to cot c this is possible if and only if a is equal to b is equal to c and therefore triangle a is is equilateral therefore triangle is is equilateral triangle is equilateral and therefore answer is c i hope you got it now the next question is 28 in triangle ABC, A is equal to 2x, B is equal to 2y, and C is equal to 120. Area of triangle is. We know the area of triangle is. Area of triangle. Area of triangle is equal to when two sides and angle included between them is given 1 by 2 AB sin C. So that will be 1 by 2 AB is 2x, and this is 2y, and sin 120 degree. Now 2 to cancel. So what is left? that will be 2xy into sin 20 is root 3y2 so 2 to cancel so what is that root 3xy and therefore answer is b b will be answered now the next question is 29 this is 3ab plus c in triangle cot b plus cot c by 2 is equal to what that we need to calculate 3a is equal to b plus c cot b by 2 cot c by 2 can i write what can i write for this now we know the uh, solution of question number this is given by tan cot b by 2 cot c by 2 we have to calculate what we have to given is 3a that is given here that uh, 
let me write first this one. First, uh, I should write this one. A plus B plus C is equal to what? 3A is equal to B plus C. A, S is equal to A plus B plus C by 2. And B plus C is equal to 3A. So, A plus 3A by 2 is equal to 4A by 2 is equal to 2A. S is equal to 2A. This is one of this. Now, cot B by 2 and cot C by 2 can be written as under root. Cot B by 2 is nothing else but S into S minus B upon S minus A, S minus C. Similarly, cot C is nothing else but S into S minus C upon S minus A and S minus B. Both are in one root, so I can write both together. Both are in a square root using the half angle formula. You got it? And now you will uh, see that these two are cancels out. S minus B, S minus C cancel, S minus C, S minus C also cancel. So what is left? S into S, S square that will come outside X. S minus A into S minus A, S minus A. And S is what? 2A. And this is 2A minus A. So finally that will be 2A upon A which is 2 answer. So answer is B. So in that case. Uh, you will be able to calculate it. Answer is B. Nothing else but answer is B. B will be the right answer. So here now the last question of this is uh, given here that a triangle is there. And triangle divides this. A perpendicular divides the side. This is a perpendicular which divides the sides in ratio. 2 is to 3. Yes, this is it. This ratio is 2 and this is 3 and this is 6. It is given like this. A, B, C and this is a D. So, if I took this is a phi 1 and this is phi 2 or theta 1, theta 2 say, then tan phi 1 is equal to what? In triangle this A, D, C, 2 by 6 that is 1 by 3. And tan phi 2 is equal to what? That is 3 by 6. That is 1 by 2. And A is equal to tan A is equal to what? Tan phi 1 plus phi 2. So we can write this tan phi 1 plus tan phi 2 upon 1 minus tan phi 1 tan phi 2. Right? So using the same thing, uh, you will be able to get it. Or putting the value, you will be able to get it. Tan phi 1 is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 upon 1 minus 1 by 3 into 1 by 2. That will be 5, 3 plus 2, 5 by 6 and this is 1 minus 1, 5 by 6. That is 1. So clearly A is equal to pi by 4 and that will be the solution. So answer is C. So in that case, the answer is C only. So hopefully you got this solved and you enjoyed the solutions. So for anything of uh, this, any other problem, you do write to us and you may contact us on this. Subscribe the channel to um, know the regular test and their solutions as well. Share and subscribe our channel. If you like this, please do like this. And if you have any comment, do write to us as well. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this. Hopefully you got this. And this is the solutions quite uh, mathematics is a bit uh, boring and test is also so test too but i uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this and uh, you will be able to understand this and keep watching next sunday we will have another test series of class 12th and uh, we will discuss this in the next session so till then bye bye thank you thank you very much